good afternoon friends how are you um today i am came here to uh, discuss with you about something new and uh, this is uh, something i haven't tried for quite a long time and that is amazon linux 2 so so far i am i have been using amazon linux 1 from 2015 and i'm quite happy with it all my uh, 40 or 42 instances are using amazon linux 1 I have used over there PHP, Apache, Node.js, and also with um, other other services. The service is quite stable, and I I must say they are I'm quite happy with it. But Amazon Linux one is uh, going to end its support by 2021 or 2020, I think. I need to check. So we need to shift to Amazon Linux two. Um, what is Amazon Linux 2? So, um, if I just Google it, Amazon Linux 2, it is a Linux distribution that is managed by Amazon itself. So, uh, what is its base? It is base is CentOS 7. That means it's in the family of Red Hat group. So, uh, it is based on CentOS 7 and then Amazon has modified that with hardened the security created its own repositories and all those things to make it compatible or to make it secure secure for the web okay so uh, it has a long term support and if i see uh, its long term support lts at release so it's inside the long term support so i, I don't think it will be um, end of support recently so uh, what i'm going to do is to create a new instance using amazon linux 2 and then install my favorite tools services over there and see how that behaves okay um let's try to go to running instances there is none it's one that i have just terminated so uh, i'm going to launch a new instance and in the instances i am searching for amazon and here i have two amazon linux and amazon linux 2 that means this is amazon linux 1 and this is amazon linux 2 so i'm going to use 64 bit x86 not arm okay let's go over there we use t2 micro feet here let's go to the next and then number of instance one we keep everything as it is i am well, let's choose ec 2 s 3 this is a row i have previously created so um, just to see um, okay everything is same as it is next add storage 8 gigs that's fine let's add tags i'm not going to add any tags next security groups i have previously defined some security groups so let's use those review and launch launch okay so i have this key pair in my local i'm not going to create a new one just i will use the existing one okay great so it is going to be uh, taking one or two minutes time okay. meanwhile it's restarted let's go for the documentation and set up for linux apache amazon, uh, amazon linux 2 install apache okay here it is so this is the documentation from uh, Amazon. I will give you the link description so that you can just see this. You don't need to copy the comments. Okay, uh, that's clear. Okay, what it says that um, prepare your LAMP server, test your LAMP server. Okay. Everything I will install except the MySQL because I'm going to use uh, RDS anyhow. Okay, so do yam update minus y, that's same. So I, I do this always. So let's see if my instance is up and running. I give it a name, Amazon Linux 2. 
and then I'm going to connect via systems manager. So this is really interesting. I go to systems manager. And then you can easily connect with your uh, PPK file or PEM file. But for me, it's more convenient that I don't need to have kept all those things. And then I can just use my console, web browser console to connect with that instance. Start session. Okay. So here I am. Uh, let's go to root. And then uh, I paste these commands. Yam update minus y. Okay, this is my favorite command. I do it for every time when I log into my terminal. And it gives me a good feeling that I am secured. I have all the patches updated regularly. So no one can hack me. Okay, it might maybe 30 seconds to a one minute so just take a cup of tea and come back when it's done okay, let's go to the next one so uh, okay it is trying to install lamb Maria DB These are all the commands that I am just checking. I haven't used this previously, so uh, just let me see. What I can do. Okay, we are using a predefined tool that is LAM MariaDB, but I'm not going to install this one because I just want to install manually one by one. So, uh, 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 I just search it again. Install Apache PHP Amazon Linux. Let's see what it comes up. Pum, 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 pum. Let's go over there. I'm not going to install LAN, but rather than I want to install all individual services okay I have seen some uh, tutorials and I have seen some uh, documentations so this one looks good to me i can install some custom versions like 7.4 7.2 7.3 etc okay so what we need to do is to install amazon linux extras so um, let's try to do this sudo install extras It's already installed then uh, what we need to do is to um, see what PHP versions we have and then enable the PHP versions so I just copy the commands to Amazon Linux extra get PHP extras What we have is 7.2, 7.3, 7.4. So that's this table. Let's try to do 
Okay, so I have enabled 7.4, that is enabled, that means now I can run uh, yum clean metadata and then install PHP over there. Yum clean metadata, that's fine, and then uh, yum install PHP CLI PHP PDO, PHP JSON, PHP MySQL, ND. Now you see we have run the command and it's all those in, uh, PHP extensions and PHPs are installed properly. Just to show, did I install PHP normal one? Needs to install Apache as well. Let's see what's the process. HTTP which is the command. So let me do some search here. Okay, um, is it typical version that I'm checking for? Let's try to install this. Okay, after checking some documentations, I see that if I run this command, should do yum install httpd mode ssl, then it uh, shows me this that I already installed http 2.4, that's fine, and then we need to install mode ssl that is compatible for the https. So let's try to click yes and then let me start the service. Okay, it has been started and let's see if we can browse the site. Okay, so we have seen the default HTTP page. I'm just going to use a PHP um, as Okay, I just put an info file where I just uh, rendered the PHP info and this gives me the output of PHP version and other things. So my time is running out. I need to close for today. I hope this helps you to install uh, Apache PHP uh, into Amazon Linux 2. For MySQL, I always use RDS. So there is nothing new to be displayed here. You can use different versions. You just need to enable via the uh, Amazon Linux extra. So thank you for watching my tutorial and have a nice day. Bye.